What's up, everybody? It's Young Cure, and welcome to a discussion video on the new Metal Gear series. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, Konami has announced recently through a Japanese press release that Metal Gear will continue after Phantom Pain, but without Kojima through what they're calling a new Metal Gear series. Now, they didn't directly say without Kojima, but that seems pretty obvious by now with the way they've been handling things with everything related to Kojima being pulled from uh, Metal Gear promotional materials, just everything from Metal Gear Solid 5 to the Legacy Collection. So it's pretty safe to say, I think, that Kojima won't be involved with this new Metal Gear series. And this is further proven by the fact that job listings are up already for this new Metal Gear series, likely to replace Kojima and company. So this new Metal Gear series, which will come after Phantom Pain, will be worked on by a completely new staff. So this means that Konami has retained the rights to Metal Gear, which uh, I saw coming. I mean, there is no way they were going to give up a big franchise like Metal Gear. And uh, this means that Kojima... Uh, will be making his last Metal Gear game with Metal Gear Solid 5, and he'll be moving on to other things, which is a bittersweet situation. Now, if you want the full details on this whole new Metal Gear series thing, check out my previous video. Right now, I just want to discuss my thoughts on all of this. Now, before I get all ranty, I want to share a few theories that I have. First, I believe that the new Metal Gear series will be a reboot, as in... Uh, they won't be using any of the Kojima stuff, you know, story, what have you. I'm 75% sure. The most obvious reason for this theory is the name, New Metal Gear Series. I mean, that new is uh, pretty self-explanatory, I think. Just the fact that they use the term Metal Gear instead of Metal Gear Solid uh, already has me thinking that this is going to be its own thing. Like, it's going to be Metal Gear something instead of Metal Gear Solid something. And I, so yeah, I get the feeling that these new Metal Gear games will just be named Metal Gear Blah. A big reason for why I am so sure that the story will be its own thing, completely new, a reboot, is because Konami has already proven that they want nothing to do with Kojima, as they have shown by removing all the Kojima-related stuff from the promotional materials. And uh, I don't know if they're going to use iconic names like Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, whatever, you know, the Patriots. But I am pretty damn sure the story will be its own thing. It'll be something new. It'll be just a reboot. Now, I personally have a really bad feeling about this. Now, I know some are saying that, hey, Konami Metal Gear games are better than uh, no Metal, Metal Gear games, right? Well, I disagree. I just don't foresee a bright future for... Uh, the, uh, the Metal Gear franchise with Konami handling everything. Uh, I mean, just think to franchises like Mega Man and Resident Evil. The original creators left, and what happened to those franchises? They went to shit. Mega Man, I mean, we haven't seen anything pertaining to Mega Man in a while. The franchise is pretty much dead. And Resident Evil, I mean, the games they have released recently have just been shit to okay, but they've definitely not been up there with, uh, you know, the likes of past Resident Evil games, which, which are considered to be classics. I mean, th both of these franchises, which had the creators leave or fired or whatever, they, they just went downhill. And uh, these are just two examples that I can think of right now, but I'm, there's just more examples like this out, out there. Uh, this is um, just not a good premonition for the future. There are also others saying that Kojima has always been planning to pass the torch anyways, so that's basically what's happening here, but I don't think that's really the case. Kojima is really not passing the torch here. It's more like Konami is taking over the series and hiring the staff members that they desire. Kojima is not... I don't think Kojima has a say in any of this. I don't think he can say, you know, I want to hire this guy. He obviously knows the series. I think he's going to be a good candidate to uh, lead the Metal Gear series. It's just Konami saying, yo, uh, we're going to hire our own people. Kojima, just, you know, you do your own thing. So it's really not passing the torch. It's just Konami taking over the franchise uh, with Kojima having little to no say. At least that's what it looks like right now. Again, nothing's official. So I'm going to hold off on making any official confirmations. But that's just what it looks like. 
And I mean, this is just really painful. I'm literally watching a franchise, a legacy die. It's just so disheartening. I mean, a Metal Gear game just isn't Metal Gear without Kojima or, you know, a protege of Kojima's. You know, I'm all for passing down the torch, but Konami's just taken over this and uh, without Kojima's input, I just don't foresee the series being as good as, you know, all the previous games developed by Kojima himself. It's just, I don't foresee it happening. Now, I would be more optimistic if um, it weren't for just the way Konami is handling things with the way they're, I don't know, it just seems personal. I, it's weird. It's like they're trying to, like, send a message or something by removing all the branding, all the Kojima productions, and just anything related to Kojima by removing all that, you know, removing stuff like a Hideo Kojima game from his games, that, I mean, that's really aggressive, that's, I mean, honestly, personal, it, it, it seems personal, it, it, I don't know why they have to go that far, it's just very aggressive, and uh, because of that, I just, um, I just don't foresee this ending well at all for uh, Konami or, you know, the Metal Gear franchise in general. I wouldn't have cared as much if Metal Gear Solid 5 was the last game and then Konami would have just kind of cut off the franchise and just left it there, you know, uh, left it at the height of the series with Metal Gear Solid 5. But the fact that more are being made without Kojima's direction, that's what's concerning me. And I've seen in the past that any time a Metal Gear game is developed without Kojima, it just never ends up being quite that good or as good as it could have been. For example, uh, Portable Ops. Uh, it's not a bad game, it's not terrible, but it's also definitely not the apex of the series. It's, it's gameplay-wise, it's just not nearly as good as, you know, something like Peace Walker, which that one was directed by Kojima, and both of those games are portables, and Peace Walker, in the, with the direction of Kojima, managed to be much better than Portable Ops gameplay-wise. So that just right there already kind of proves that Kojima is an essential part of the series. But again, my theory is that this is going to be a reboot, so we might see a lot of things change in terms of gameplay and storytelling. Maybe uh, Konami knows what they're doing, maybe they're going to do their own thing, and maybe it'll um, turn out to be good. But uh, honestly, it's hard to say at this point. So there you have it, folks, my thoughts on this entire situation these are my reasons for why I'm so disheartened by what's going on here. I mean, sure, there's going to be more Metal Gear games, but I feel like a series should end at the highest place possible, and I think that's Metal Gear Solid V with, you know, Kojima's departure, and the fact that they're making more without Kojima's direction, that's just, I, I don't foresee anything good happening from that. But uh, hopefully, Konami will prove me wrong, and uh, I really wish Kojima good luck in his future endeavors. Um, and I cannot wait to see what he uh, comes up with. So yeah, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this entire situation with the new Metal Gear series. Do you think we'll see something positive come out of this, or is this just all a shit show? Is this a train wreck? Uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll keep you guys updated on this entire situation this entire affair so stay tuned here on yong gear subscribe if you haven't done so yet and i'll see you guys next time thank you very much and yong out